Hello, 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 my love bugs. Once again, it's your girl, Lumi Love, here with another message from the divine. As I always say today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden out your heart. For I'm just a messenger, and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you, <laughs> thank you guys for the likes, subscribe, shares, and views. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. Let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Okay, so the song I heard was Every Other City We Go, Every Other Video. And everywhere I go, I see the same hoes. Every other city we go, every other video. And everywhere I go, I see the same hoes. Okay, and then I open up to this. <laughs> Somebody said they want to see something new. Shout it freaking little son. Somebody want to see something new. They said they're sick of the same old hoes. They're sick of the same old routine. What? They sick of the same old hoes. They sick of the same old routine. They want to come bring you an offer. They want to rush in and bring you an offer. They don't want nobody else to get a chance with you. They want that chance with you. They see you as the truth, but you got your guard up to them. They feel like you're also protected in a certain type of way. That's why you stay to yourself. You protect yourself. You have your guard up to anyone and everyone. You don't trust anyone. You trust your instincts more than anyone else. I mean, smart gal, okay? <laughs> And this person wants to um, have stability with you, to be in a relationship with you, but it's it's, it's some problems with that. They, they feel like they have success with you, but there's issues. All right, you got the two and the four of, of wands, so that comes out to the six of wands. They feel like they'll be uh, very uh, victorious in this relationship with you. Um, but you cut this person off. This king of wands could kind of be kind of passionate for a lot of other people. Like he said, every other city he go and every other video and everywhere he go, he see the same hoes. And he feels like he gave up an opportunity with you. Maybe at some point you were interested in him and he just ignored you, you know, gave all that up and decided to go out here with these hoes. And now he feels like he let himself down. He's holding himself back or he held himself back from maybe a possible good relationship um now he's being left out in the cold you don't want to deal with him he feels like you need to love him you like fuck no um this <laughs> this person yeah feels like you you have some real high standards and morals which is different from the hoes so he feels like he got to get his bag up okay i'm hearing where them dollars at in my pocket you bitch he used to go talk to people like that yeah that's how the song go i know that's like really deep but that's how the song goes and that was important <laughs> that was important because that's how he used to get talk to females but now he's feeling like he needs to switch up his speech and everything because he wants to approach you in a proper manner you don't take no shit like that you don't play no shit like that so this person is really taking his time to get himself together and recover um i guess because it took a little blow to his ego when you didn't talk to him when you turned him down this person now wants to recover and bring this opportunity to you and he finds that if he can he knows that he will have an unlimited supply of energy let's just call it what it is i did not get love from this shit at all i got an unlimited supply of energy and he could do what he needed to do with that wield that power as he needed to He's disappointed though. He's very disappointed because he feels like he only can get the success with you, but he can't find a way to get to you. He better find your love and he wants to find your heart. He said there's too many <laughs> He said what the fuck? He said that there is too many people standing in the way of him and his celebrations with you. Maybe too many baby mamas, maybe too many third parties. He has other females he sleep with. Baby mama's the first thing I heard about because I thought about children when I saw this and I was like, no, that's they mama's fighting like children. So these may be people that he has a lot of children with and they're standing in the way of his success with you. He feels like you ain't gonna talk to somebody without them baby mamas because you got common sense enough to know that damn even if he got enough money to be all them you know people's daddy he's gonna want to get me pregnant too and he most definitely does want to get you pregnant he does want to put you in the game he does want to make you a baby mama he finds you very attractive so attractive he wished there was no stalemate he feels like he wants to come directly to you he can't sleep at night because i think he's laying in the bed with somebody he doesn't want to be there with and she be trying to lay with him and he don't trust her and he don't want to lay with her he wants to shower you with gifts to make you hurry up and take his offer so that's why he's trying to bring in this money but he needs to manifest a little more money he feels like then with more money, he'll be strong, but it's more so he is in the mind state of feeling that way because he's karmic. So what he thinks is strength is just misogyny is what I'm hearing. He feels like the more money he has, he can make you feel like, oh, you don't need a job. You don't need to do nothing. I take care of everything for you so that he can dominate and, you know, pretty much issue out the money as he sees fit. Um, but he plans on making you look good. 
He for sure says you can have whatever you want. He'll give you bags and all kind of superficial shit. <laughs> he feels like that's the right thing to do in this karmic energy. This is the karmic person who thinks that he wants to come and love on you. All right? He's working very hard to bring you this offer. He feels like he's just not happy. Also, he knows someone has a plot to get victory by uh, capturing you. And he's willing to defend you. Or he's feels like he's watching out for you. Okay. So this person feels like he's watching out for you because he knows what someone else wants to do to you. And he's kind of like making sure that doesn't happen. But he's upset because he just wants a sort of payment. And <laughs> it's Gucci. Like he wants some vagina. Yeah. He's like, shit, I don't mind doing what I'm doing for you, but like, show me something real quick. Shit, give me, I know what I'm fighting for, but hell, I ain't get to test drive the vehicle yet. I know this might be my dream car, but I ain't test drove it yet. How do I know I'm really going to love it? <laughs> That's how this person feels. Um, Yeah, they feel sort of defeated because of all these outside influences. It's like they got to go through too many people to see they got to go through too many people to get to you. They don't even understand why they had to see you. They wish they never saw you because they wouldn't have to work this hard. But at least there you give them confidence to work that hard and balance their life out. Because um, they're suffering some sort of misfortunes right now from too many baby mamas. Yeah, they kind of like, I guess at first they didn't, they didn't mind like, you know, just getting a bunch of baby mamas. But now they feel like, damn, I probably shouldn't have. Like, I wish I would have met her before I met all these bitches and I would only have one baby mama and a bunch of kids. Like, he don't care about the kids. Like, he, yeah, he's, I guess he's family oriented or he, you know, because I'm getting he takes care of the damn churn. He just kind of got a problem with racking up on baby mamas. May not be good with women, but good with children type of deal. Yeah, this person is standing back and watching, though. Hoping that nobody pull up on you. He don't see you with nobody, so he don't be all upset. I guess he feel upset because maybe you don't pay him any um, any attention. Um, then he got somebody who in there who's overreaching. <laughs> I guess this is a female he's with is overreaching. She's surprised that this masculine is. Uh, she went spying and she found out that this masculine wants to give you any and everything. And that shit got her tore up. That shit got her tore up. She don't know how to feel because she found out that this masculine want to be around you and that he's going to try to manifest this in some sort of way um he's also spiritually healing and she don't want that because then he's gonna find out what she was doing to dominate him in the background messy <laughs> yeah she invested a lot into getting what she wanted from this mess man and all her motherfucking secrets gonna come out and she is what she was trying to get she was trying to be wifey status her business is coming out He's going to move on from her and he's going to take the time to heal spiritually because of this passion that he feels like he has for you and that's pissing her off and she want to fight. Yeah, in secret, she's trying to get some sort of plot to try to fight you. What? She might be trying to tell this man that you're going to try to beat her up or you're bullying her, you're being mean to her or some crap. But this man want to move on to calmer waters with you. He want to have a partnership with you. But again, he's blocked. <laughs> he's blocked from doing so. And plus, the way that she feel, oh my gosh, and that makes her want to fight even more because, like, she just, you know how she's basically dead ass? Dead ass? Like, so it's like she could have went and got a read and got off the phone for the read and came out the bathroom and then argue with him. Dead ass? So you all in this bitch face? You feeling this bitch like this? Like, she got some sort of animosity. She be trying to get your attention, maybe riding past you in a car or whatever. That shit did. You don't pay this girl no mind. <laughs> she might even have a hank or some sort of uh, spirit outside your home trying to watch you that's in the trees, in the bushes, that's sort of watching you because um, she feels like the minute that he try to come towards you, that's how she's going to know she's going to call or she's going to whatever. Yeah, some sort of hank she got watching you in the bushes, child. Um... Because she wants to marry this man and move forward. She want to be the better baby mama. She wants to kill their relationship, but he doesn't want to. He wants to get away from her because she's a liar. She's a thief and she cheated him. 
She could have just sat in line like the rest of the baby mamas and did what he wanted, but she chose to try to make an impression and she fucked up. This is what he's saying. She chose to try to make an impression on him. She fucked up. She worked against him. She deceived him. And now he no longer wants to be bothered with her. And that causes her even more burdens because um, at least he nice to the other baby mamas and still sleep with them on the side. He not going to keep sleeping with her. She kind of know that and she kind of mad. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's get in their bag just a bit. This guy is really infatuated with you, though. Oh, man, I grabbed this deck. It's going to put out some of this girl's business. And, uh, all right. <laughs> Let's just do this real quick. I got to pick out these. He said, forget her. He want to say something first, and then we'll get to her. All right. He's watching you, trying to figure out your body type and figure out how to please you what you might like again he's well versed in women so he's trying to figure out what it is that you may like specifically what makes your <laughs> what tickles your fancy what how he can ring your bell okay that's a lot of that energy he dreams about it at night and get mad because he might wake up hard and he don't want to sleep with the girl he next to dang bro you told me to grab the cars again his, he says his love language is showing you. I'm about to say, dang, bro, you showing, you told me to grab the cards and you got me channeling most of the shit you want to say. All right, his love language is showing you. He wants you to call him a lot. He wants you to be on that phone. You used to call me on my cell phone. <laughs> they not when you need my love. That's how this feminine feels. She want him to call, yes. And I know when the highlight link, he don't want to call it no more. All right, she's willing to do anything to please this masculine at this point. Okay, she says she knows that the sex is amazing. That's why she doesn't want you to get none because she knows you're not going to want to go nowhere. Whoa, and this masculine wants to show you. All right, he swear right now. Okay, she's saying her heart only beats for him. She trying to be the throat go. Wow, she pushed through this message hard. All right, she basically is professing her love for this masculine. And he talking about he like your lips, he can't wait to love you. Oh, wow. He like your lips, he can't wait to love you. You're the only person that he desires right now. What is going on? The female's like, you don't even call me when you need me. Whoa, I mixed up the decks. No. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you don't even call me. Oh my goodness, you don't even call me no more. I want to hurt your lover. Oh, it's going down. I thought you were an easy target. I'm trying to ignore this, but she might have slept with this man that... <laughs> she might have... <laughs> I keep trying to put it back, y'all. She might have slept with some dad, some this, this man's father and uh, his his uh, sibling. All right? She wants someone to uh, hurt hurt you and oh she wanted someone to hurt this masculine that's why she slept with one of his homeboys or his brothers or whatever to try to turn them against each other um and she's upset that he wants to better himself now she wouldn't have had a baby on this man wow all right and she thinks that you're too confident so she wanted to set you up she's trying to get you hurt because this masculine wanted to talk to you she wants to know why he's leaving her and she wants to plead like she's learned her lesson what did i do wrong i said what did i do wrong I said, I'm going home and down. Then I say, she ride past your house. He might do it too. These people might stay by you. I said, I'm going down. All right, somebody stalking you, social media, any way they can. It's too late for sorry for her. God damn, this dude think you a blessing. All right, he's overly emotional that he's stuck with this feminine. She tell people she hate this man when she love this man. She want to blackmail him and she trying to get some evidence to do so. She might be searching through his trash and shit because he want to give you the world and she want revenge and her and her people, her baby mamas, I mean his baby mamas, the other ones and all her people, they talk about you and even though she body shame you, she's envious of your looks, all right? She know that she ain't going to be able to keep this masculine forever, but she was doing what she was doing to delay him and get enough money. He drives me around in his car. Um, so I guess he got more than one car and she be making him drive her places on purpose. Ooh, I'm getting, but now he make her drive where she got to go. That's why he got her own car. Again, I said this masculine can take care of other people, but once he through with you, he trying to get you straight and get him out of his face. And she just want to be able to cycle his energy all the time because she's a vampire. Ugh, she slept with this man, daddy and the brother, bro. People can see that she jealous of him because they was, she was pillow talking, trying to get them to set her up. 
All right, she's obsessed with this masculine. She feels like she need to control him. Um, she fucked up. <laughs> she slept with somebody's ex to get a reaction out of them. Dang, okay. So I guess she had a threesome with his ex to try to get him to stay, and he still don't want to be with her. Yeah, she's still trying to betray him, betray you too. She used him for his money, and she kind of will entertain you too if you let her just to keep this man. You okay that's it that's all that's nasty and <laughs> i'm gonna leave it to y'all um oh yeah bye <laughs>